Well, she is a force to be reckoned with on The Marvelous Mrs. Maisel. And now Caroline Aaron is taking on double duty in her new film, Call Waiting, where she plays two characters. You guys got to see this. Take a look. He's just about to get on the train when this Polish man who recognized him as a Jew started yelling, Uda! Uda! I can live with that. I'm a lousy mother, okay? But you know what? I'm really good at paying alimony checks, don't you think? Oh my God, Esther, he's having an affair. Hang on one second. Hang on. Hold on. Beep, beep. Yeah, I'm beeping. I have to do that again. And Caroline is here with me now. Hi. Hello. Let me tell you something. I was, I heard what this was about. And so I started watching and I was like, wait a minute. And then I was like, oh, 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 like I love what this movie is. So tell people about this movie, what it is and who these two women are that you play. Okay, so this movie started out as a play. Yes. The seat of the writer, Dory Fram was, if you overheard anyone's end of their phone conversation throughout a whole day, by the end of the day, you would know everything about them. And so it's the story of these two different women who never meet. You only know their stories through their side of their phone calls. And by the end of the film, somehow they have intersected inside of meet. It's really, I, I mean, it is, it's really unique. Can you tell the audience a little bit more about these two characters, just who they are? Judy Baxter, who is the title character who was in the play, her story is really the playwright's story. She's a woman who was born in a displaced persons camp. She's mm -hmm. the child of Holocaust survivors. She has a wicked sense of humor. Mm -hmm. She's a writer, but the only thing she can't write about is the thing that causes her the most pain. And she has promised her father that she will write his story to keep a record of it. And she has writer's block. So the entire play, <laughs> we're watching her, you know, as we all do, in the privacy of her bedroom, procrastinate, postpone, uh, and talk to all the people that she loves. <laughs> the second character, Carol Lane, that Dan Bukatinsky wrote, is the opposite of Judy Baxter. She is the actress playing the character. She is brittle. She is unkind, um, uh, imperious. But by playing this character, somehow she becomes infected by the generous spirit of the character she's playing and she's changed by it at the end. What was that like for you as an actress kind of weaving? It was very um, intimidating to begin with. It was a real juggling act, but it was very thrilling in a way to be able to embody two of these women all at once. But yes, I had to do that juggling act of going back and forth, just like we do as actors going from, you know, walking from our lives into a fictional world. So yeah. at least that I'd had experience with. Yeah, well, it, it just is brilliant. And now everybody will get the opportunity to see it. Um, so congratulations on that. I do want to pivot to uh, Maisel, marvelous Mrs. Maisel. What, what a fantastic show. You are fantastic in this show. And I just wonder, um, how you guys are going to get back together to shoot the next season. I, I don't know if you started already, but I know you're planning on it. Yeah. And there are a lot of things in place. The writers are busy at work. Um, all of those people. I have no idea what's going to happen in season four. Obviously, we were delayed like everybody else yeah. because of COVID. And they want to make sure we're all safe. But I miss them so much. Rachel, our brilliant star, usually sends out an email, gets a mutual time for all of us, and we visit in boxes the way we're all visiting each other. I love that. I love that you guys do that. That's brilliant. Yeah. So I got to ask, I, I'm a big podcast lover. So as a part of this, um, I heard you had a podcast called Angst and Daisies. <laughs> and I listened to it. And, you know, I'm so much into social activism and what's going on in the world. And I love that this is what this podcast is all about. Why is it called, I got to ask you first, why is it called Angst and Daisies? Well, my partner, Steve Saparito, who dragged me into this, wanted to call it Angst and Daisies because he wanted it to be sort of the yin and yang. Ah. The anxiety that we all feel, and hopefully, you know, flowers will push up through the soil. That's <laughs> what we're hoping for. You know, I'm so glad that you said that about activism because, you know, he is a real activist. I'm more of a living room activist. Mm -hmm. He's on the couch and yells at the television. So <laughs> when I came to New York to do Maisel, he said to me, you know, you're one of the most curious people I know. 
and I'm going to drag you off the couch and into the resistance. And he really taught me how on a small scale or a large scale, you can participate. I think people need guidance on how to participate. I yeah. think we're all really full of passion for doing what's right and for being citizens, but we don't always know how we can fit in. I love that. I love that you're doing this. Well, let me let everybody know that you can catch Call Waiting on Amazon uh, right now. Caroline, thank you so much for all that you do. Much appreciated. Thank you so much. And lots of love. Stay safe.